Hey everybody, it's Triple J, and welcome back to another episode of Bountiful Bayou here in City Skylines. So I have sufficiently noodled on it. It honestly didn't take too much noodling because I've pretty much convinced myself in the last episode, but I think for the playthrough, for the learning, uh, and what we're kind of doing here, and honestly for the city itself, I think it will be best to try and turn this into a tram or trolley bus route. Now, the trolley buses are new as of, um, the trolley buses are new as of the latest Sunset Harbor. They were added, um, to the game as a form of public transportation. Essentially, they're the same as trams because they, you know, need a special road type for them and you need a station, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, Oh, look at this. We hit 17,000 population. We hit our next milestone. So we hit Grand City. So we have uh, th options for our third loan, which hopefully we won't ever need. Solar plant, baseball park, so the waste transfer facility and the processing complex, uh, inner city bus terminal, and the bus metro hub. Which will all, these will be probably things we're going to want to place inside of our bigger city. Now... As far, so that's really great. That's really great. So we're on to the next milestone, which is 28,000, and that will give us our next tile. So a couple things. Great. So that's good. Uh, we're going to want to put in that waste processing complex, but uh, let's put a pin in that because I don't want to, I don't want to get off track too far here. I think let's go with trams for this. It's, it's the, honestly, the trams to me are a little bit more quaint. Uh, the trolley buses feel like something that might be better served in a larger city. Like, if I was going to pick between the two of them, let's go for the, the trams. Because I like the look of them better, I think, overall. Yeah. So, let's go for trams. So, what this is going to entail. Now, let's do this. We're working... Uh, this is actually a really good learning experience for putting in infrastructure after the fact. Uh, so, let's, let's work on this. So, we're going to want... The four-lane road with tram tracks. Now, this is what's going to end up happening is we're going to want to upgrade all of these spots. Now, I'm going to keep my eye out for stuff that's going to break, like that path. Like that path. So, what I'm going to do is turn off toggle road collision and just upgrade these areas because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any of those paths that we already put in. So let's keep upgrading through here. Just kind of keeping an eye on, you know, any sort of shifts or things that might cause some issues. Obviously, that's going to be a break there. We're going to have to figure that out. Now, again, this doesn't decrease the amount of lanes. It adds the tram road on the interior. So, in terms of the amount of traffic that this road can hold, it should not be any different. Seems like we're doing fine so far. Also drops you off at that nice big hospital. Part of me doesn't actually want to make this connection, but uh, I think it's going to be necessary. I was thinking about having it stop before the uh, connection to the highway. However... While that probably makes the most sense, I don't know if I've ever seen a tram route connect <laughs> to an interchange like this. But at the same time, uh, this is our story and we're playing in it. So let's just do what we want to do, right? And then we'll do... So then we'll upgrade the two-lane one-way tracks, which is going to be a little... Oop, I don't want that, though. That, there, there, and there. So that can just be a full turnaround. The only thing I don't like about them being in this roundabout is that they go to the outside. So if you can kind of see where the trams go, I find it awkward that they don't go to the inside. So traffic sort of has to cross around them, which can be a little wonky. But again, it doesn't necessarily impact anything gameplay-wise, but visually it's a little confusing uh and i don't actually know if that's how this would work 
in real life or not. But that's kind of where we're we're at with this. It's also a bit of a hike up this this road here. Um, I probably could do something about that. We could probably lower this to about there, just to give ourselves a little bit less of a grade. Again, this is purely aesthetic. This is nothing that's really going to impact the trams itself, but it's more for the the sake of the the realism of you know getting up. There's like a few things in terms of realism that that bug me, and there's a few things that don't. And I sort of let go and grab onto them at different times. And for some reason, this was bothering me. So we're going to lower this. Which will then probably want us to lower this. That means we can also drop this down a bit. Which is totally fine. I'm going to turn on collision again. And then that means that we can sort of slope this back up, you know, continue to kind of drive this. And that really, in the grand scheme of it, doesn't do a whole lot, but it does give us a little bit better of a an incline here for the trams, the tram roads. Okay, so we have those in place. Now, we're going to need to do this. This might be a little confusing. Um... Because we're going to need a two-lane road with tram. Instead, I think I'm going to go into the trams themselves and take this one. Just tram track. The standalone tram track. Because in my head, I only want there to be a road coming off of this and around and over to here. Which, coming from this direction going this way is totally fine because that tram is not going to need to turn around they're just going to need to literally slide off you know to the right and go over here however on this side they're gonna to have to cross traffic which is a little less ideal so right in between this i'm gonna pop this road Something like that. Because they're never going to have to make this right turn. They're only going to have to make this left turn. Right? The only time they come back is where they're going to be going stoop, over here. But they're going to have to make this turn, which is a little sharp. But I think I'm going to be okay with it. And that... Bring that back. Okay. So then we go. And then what will that will allow me to do here is take this off. So this road can go back to being just that. Right? Because we're not bringing the tram through the roundabout. Which is going to be better for us anyway. Okay. So then I'm going to start over here and kind of do something similar. But I might do it a little bit closer to this. So what if I went out like this? It's going to kill that. And turn off collision again. And do that. Again, that's kind of a sharp turn. But I want to see it in action. It's kind of a sharp turn. But I think it's going to be... I think it'll be okay. It's kind of... A, it's a little slick. And if it looks really wonky, we can always change it. But then I'm going to go and... Do that, I guess. And that's not the prettiest looking thing. I will be honest with you. But if I add in some... Trees... And we make this, you know, we add in some trees and some maybe some fence, just some decorations. I think that'll integrate just fine. 
So these will come up, left, and around, and then they're going to have to... Ooh, the problem is swinging all the way over here, right before this. Ugh. Yeah, that might not be great. Okay. How about this instead? Is this doable? And it might be, and it might even be better if I was to pull... Hmm. Well, let me see if I can do it here. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead before I'm actually using my, my head. I don't know if this is possible to squeeze in a road here. So what I might do... I'm going to get rid of this. Sorry, houses. But you know what? In the name of... Name of progress. Bring this back. Connect it there. So that gives me two lanes. I'll turn off snapping. I may have to connect it to this. Just want to get that next to it. Um, like this. Mm, road anarchy is. Yeah. Node snapping. Let me tr turn off node snapping. There we go. This feels totally like something I should be able to do. Okay. So we do this, and then we can connect it. Let me toggle node snapping again and collision and we'll go like that because remember we don't have to make this massive turn this this side is just gonna is gonna slide across but that's a much better of a, of a curve and then this side is only gonna go over here we're not gonna be making this turn this all can go back to this Boom. Like so. And I think... Oop, no, I'm ripping the road up there. That's okay. I can put like a fence or something along there, but then that allows me to then keep this road... Like that. Now put those houses back. And that gives me a much better position for this. Might cause a little bit of issues with that intersection, but uh, maybe not. Don't know. Okay. So then the trick is getting... The trick is... Turn off node snapping again. that turn now they're in the clear connection there now that doesn't really change the shape of this but it does make this much better Uh, it seems like I missed a spot here. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That little that little bit here doesn't need to be right, right, right. Okay. It's trees. I think we're gonna have to probably raise this a bit and slide over the just raise it like that so and then I'll slide this pillar over to here so that's out of the way and again here I'm just gonna turn the game back on
think what I'll do over on this side is this will just be fence. Like so. And I'll just drop this straight in like that. Just, you know, so you're not, you know. However, it could be nice to put a stop in here. Okay, okay, okay. So if I connect this up with this. Boom. I think people are going to be able to cross there. I can also do that. I think they can actually make that connection. If I just do this, it creates a walking path on top of a walking path. But then they can kind of cross over. Sure enough, they can. Boom. Perfect. Okay, good. Then, I think we could still sneak a tree line in here. Uh, maybe something a little bit taller. Let me do this. About every 12 meters. I think that's perfectly appropriate. And I understand that those trees change. Oh no, those trees are the same. Never mind. Yeah. That tree can go right there. That might mess with the line, but uh, I think that's okay. But then this neighborhood is nice access to this tram route. We could put a stop right there. Okay, good. So we have that. This is all good. This is all fine. This is all fine. Okay. So then here we need to make the connection point. But we need the tram depot. Which can just fits fits right here. Um, like perfectly. Uh, wow. So I think, let me see. If I drop that in, that just means that all I need to do is this and I have a complete turnaround just like that wow it was almost like I planned it but I didn't <laughs> I didn't plan it at all but that works out really really nicely and it works perfect for the trams they can now leave the depot here this is a great building to have Right on this sort of point here where you start to, you know, where you're going off into the sort of industrial land. Because it's kind of an industrial building, right? It's just, it's not that nice to look at. Wow. And then it meets up with the trains. Excellent. Okay, so let us, let's get a line in. Let's start getting some trams in here. And, um. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's add in a train line here. So I will do a f its first stop. We'll do there. I'll probably have these stop quite a bit because I still want people to be able to use the trains. The trains are definitely faster, right? They only stop. They don't even stop. They just they go right to their destination. So we'll do a stop. Oh, you don't want them stopping too much, but let's definitely stop at the university. And we'll definitely stop across the bridge. I want to stop on that road. I want a stop at the bottom here. Where the shopping district will be. Now, again, I don't think all these stops will probably be used. And then I'll have another one that kind of goes all the way up to here, right at the front of the hospital, kind of service that area. And, um, you know, since that's a roundabout, I don't think it's going to stop anywhere down there. We can always manipulate that in the future. Stop 
there. Stop there. Cross the bridge. I think that's a perfect number of stops, actually. And then we'll just complete the line. Can I not complete the line? I guess I'll do a stop there. Uh, oh. I see. Uh, huh. That's really actually interesting that that doesn't work. I wonder if this would work if this was a tram road? No, because now that's telling me that it's not connected. Peculiar. I thought they would be able to use sort of the building as a turnaround, but apparently not. Look at all these people waiting already. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, what if I did this? One way. Let me pause it real quick here. What if I do a road? I'm not even sure if I can get back there. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can just do a turnaround right in here. You know what I mean? Let me turn off node snapping. So we can do that. But then this needs to be. It's literally just coming off here to then turn around. That's silliness. That's absolute silliness. But maybe it's necessary silliness? Oh, it's just ripping the road. It's a real sharp turn. I think that's really... Is that dumb? I think that's really dumb. But also maybe necessary? Because now it can complete the line. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So this, this area, I'm going to delete the line. I thought this was going to... I thought... See, you know what? There's... It's always something. It's always something. I'm just going to delete this line and start over. You know, I thought... I thought that was going to be super easy and real slick. Uh, but you know what? It, it, it can't always be that easy. It can't always be that easy. So this road... Sorry, folks, for everyone waiting there. This road is going to maintain its one-way status. Well, no. That's not true. It's going to maintain this because we have to have the road connecting to the avenue. And that's fine. But what's going to happen... Is we're going to do the one way off of this. I'm going to go as far out as I can. I think I might actually slide this park over, which is going to be off-center. And that's probably going to bug me a little bit. But at the same time, I need the room. We can always move it back later. Let me give this... I think I need the space. Something like that. To there, which is a really, really weird and awkward thing. But if I go like this, can I kind of bridge it again? Yeah, I'll do something like that. Just to make this behave. <clears throat> And it's going to have to make that turn, which I understand that this looks very goofy. But it's kind of like where we're at with this. OK. 
Okay, and then... Let's see. Up. In. And then these. Actually shorten them a little bit so they can curve onto themselves. I wonder if I can do this. Mm, node snapping. Like that. Ish. Slide that so it's a little bit more even. It's still awkward, but it's not as naturally ugly, <laughs> I guess. So they'll come in, they'll slide across. And wait a minute, I'm using... Let's go that direction and then around. So then the one side... Yeah, I think that's going to be how that has to go. Okay, so then... Instead of having the stop there, I will move the stop to there. Okay. Stop the campus. Stop across the... Uh, the way there. And there. Right there at the bottom of the shopping district up there and then we'll have it curve around at a stop at a stop there okay and then this we'll add a stop and then we can connect the line back we're gonna make this line color We're gonna make this like a nice deep blue color. And then we have just one tram line going back on itself, kind of circling back. All these people are gonna slide slide down now here to this stop. And we're gonna start to see the trams coming out. Our nice, beautiful trams. Now we can always um, mess with the budget on these as well, because it's going to be certainly a lot of them, probably. I can't remember if I have the transport manager. I do. So what do we have here? Passenger rate. Oh no, this is uh, do, do, do. passenger capacity is 105. Max speed is 20. Let's go. Th uh, let's go 30 on that. Just a little bit faster. Apply that, and then uh, how many? Tr how many do we have on this? Nine vehicles. Kind of feels like a lot. So maybe we go. Well, maybe not. It's a pretty far journey. Or are we still adding them? Oh yeah, there's gonna be 18 on this line. Yeah, how about we do like 10? We'll see how that goes. I don't know how many people are gonna be on this, but uh, let's do 10 for now. But uh, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll kind of, we're gonna let them go and kind of see how uh, it shapes up. This one is a different color because this one's gonna have to come back to the station because I just, uh, I just told it to, you know, dip out. There's a hundred people on this one already. Yeah, I think this is going to be heavily used because we have so many people walking back and forth on here. And we're going to have to, obviously, I think in the next episode, we'll kind of take a look at how this is going to affect traffic and, you know, where we may see any hot spots. But, um, but everybody, that's going to do it. We, uh, you know, we, we successfully added an entire train line, tram line, excuse me, into our city. And I think it'll actually be really, really effective. I think a lot of people are going to use it. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Bountiful Bayou here in City Skylines. Bye, everybody.